Welcome to another episode of The Clever Dev. Today we are going to go back to the basics on button size. So there is actually a size prop, but it may not do exactly what you think on these MUI buttons. So we will explore it in the DOM and we will also look at how to set the width and height more manually and font size and a little bit of padding and margin as well. So really cover our bases and make sure we understand how to get our buttons exactly how you want. Now let's take a look at the code. Today we are starting with a blank slate. I do have some imports in place just to speed things along, but we are going to start by looking at the size prop on the MUI button, and I will go ahead and use outline variant for all of my buttons just to keep things consistent. So I'll set size of small for the first one, and then I will say a size of large for the second one. So let's add that second button with the um, large value here, and I'll say large button. And let's take a look at our app now and just see how that's playing out in the DOM. So we can see that the small button and the large button, they are almost the same width and height um, in total, and by that I mean including padding and margin. So the difference in the large and small is actually a difference in padding. So let's scroll down here and see if we can see the difference. So we've got padding of seven and 21, whereas on our small, we've got a padding of three and nine. So um, the width, let's see, this one still has a min width of 64. And over here, we have a min width of 64. So buttons in MUI will shrink or grow based on their content. And so that sizing value is really just padding, but I can show you that here if we just go into the DOM and clear out part of this. Let's just see what happens. So now our small button is actually wider than our large button. Our large button's still taller, but that's really because of the padding on it. Um, let's take a look at one more thing, see if we can see any font size in here real fast. Um, let's see, font size of 0.9375 and a font size of 0.8125 rem. So a small difference in the font size. So that's contributing to the height and width of the buttons as well. So um, if you want to make a button that is a fixed width, then the, the size prop is not your answer. Let's take a look at how we would add a fixed width button. All right, so I'm going to comment out these two buttons and I will start our next button and we're going to set a variant of outlined on it again and on this one what we'll do is we'll use the sx prop and i'm going to go ahead and close my tag here and i will say sized button and then here in the sx prop we'll add that fixed width like i said so i'll just say width of um, let's say we'll set it to 10 rim here so I'm going to go ahead and add some padding and margin too, just to discuss those points. So I'll say a padding of one and a margin of two. So I'm going to go to my app.js. I have a little bit of spacing on here and that's going to influence the margin on this button and I don't want that to be the case. So um, the padding and the margin, these values of one and two, those are not going to be converted to pixel values. What those are going to do is those are actually going to go into the MUI theme. I don't have a custom theme, so it's just the default theme. And it's going to look at the spacing um, function on the MUI theme. And it's going to pass in these number values, so one or two. And what it's going to do is it's going to multiply that by 8px. So we're going to have padding of 8px and margin of 16px on this button here. Let's go take a look at that and make sure that I am right on all counts there. So we can see we've got that min width on here. Let's see if we can find our width. Usually it pastes these things at the bottom. So there we go, 10 rim for our width and our padding of eight and margin of 16, just like I mentioned. So if you want to do a fixed width button, then this is the proper mechanism. Um, you may want min width or max width or something like that. Um, but anyway, just make sure that you do it like this instead, instead of using that size prop, otherwise you might have some surprises. Now let's take a look at um, the last thing that we want to look at today, and that would be height. Actually, we'll look at font size too in a minute. Um, with height, then I'll just leave this existing button in here. Um, let's go ahead and say button outlined again. And what I'm going to do with this one is I will set an SX value of height. 
and I'll set it to 100px um, just to show a difference between that and rim. And then inside of this button, what we're going to do is I'm going to use the stack component. And the reason for that is because I'm going to then inside of the stack, I am going to have the save icon, which I've already got imported. And then I will have the typography component, which once again, I've already got it imported. So inside of typography, I'll just put some text. I'll say saved. And here in our stack, I'm going to say direction equals column and align item center. And then finally, I'll say justify content. And on here, we'll go ahead and say center also. So let's take a look at this with the height fixed on it. And then I will go into the DOM and remove the height just to see the difference. So we can see that our button is definitely taller. So it looks like our height is properly being fixed. So that's great. If you want to have a fixed height to your buttons, that's what you do. You can see that if I strip off the height over here in DevTools, then this button is still taller than our buttons that only had text. So the reason for that is because, of course, I have these two components inside and I have a stack on here that um, I was pointing out the wrong two components. Here's my two components. I have this stack component that's wrapping them and it is ultimately applying flex. That's by default with a stack and setting that flex, flex direction of column. So since these are, of course, naturally just um, taller, then the button is going to expand, as we would hope, to encompass um, the both of those components. So, so far, so good. Now let's look at one more thing. Let's look at the font size, and we'll just see how that impacts our buttons. Before we move on to the font size, I want to mention that all the code from this video is available in a post that I have on my website. There is a link to that in the the video details, so if you want to copy paste any of this or see screenshots or anything like that, you can go there and check that out. Um, I also want to mention that I have a relatively new MUI component styling course in Udemy, and there is a, um, a coupon code in the video details of this video, so um, I go super deep into the theme and the SX prop and uh, styled components and all kinds of things with MUI get a little bit into performance questions, get a little bit, get a lot into a lot of the more difficult components to style, like the text field and the um, date picker and the select and things like that, get into the grids and tables and data grids and um, both how to style them, how to space them, uh, all kinds of things like that. So it's been well reviewed so far. And um, I think that you'll definitely get some incredible value out of that if you check that out, especially with that coupon. So going back over here to the code, um, I'll comment this one out and we'll leave this sized button in place. So button, let's go ahead and say variant outlined again. And here what I'm going to do is we'll just say SX equals um, inside of here, we'll say font size of 24. And then I'll say, um, let's say big text button. And then we'll do this exact same thing, except I will change this to little text button and we'll just give it a font size of eight. Now font size is different than padding and margin in the MUI theme. It does not go into any kind of function. It does not go into that spacing function that I mentioned. And it does, so this is just gonna get converted to a pixel value here. So font size of 24, font size of eight. So here we are in our app. Oh, you can see that I should have added some margin between these two. Um, in fact, let's go back and I will put back my spacing over here. So that's a little better. That spacing prop is a really handy thing. You can see that it just naturally spaced these without me having to put uh, manually put any margin in. So pretty cool stuff. Anyway, so on our big text button, we can see that our font size is in fact applied. Let's just check it here on our little text button. So that's all good. And you can see the difference in the dynamic growth of the buttons. So the padding values um, should be the same, five for the top and bottom and 15 for the sides, and they are. So this difference in height and width is totally just from the font size. So once again, um, these buttons in MUI are quite dynamic and really you have to set a fixed height and width uh, if you want a fixed height and width button. Truthfully, in a lot of cases, you would not want that anyway. And so, um, you know, you might want your 
buttons to all be dynamic based on the root font size in your app. So um, it's really just uh, a consideration of whatever your particular UX concerns are.